welcome to the 10th annual multicultural festival right here at the Boys and Girls Club of Winnipeg, Victor Major Club. We're looking forward to a fantastic evening of various entertainment, lots of varieties of food, and lots of helpers, lots of volunteers today. I've been here for about nine years, and this is our 10th annual festival. Basically, we're doing this festival to mark the elimination of racism, which has been, uh, has been appointed by the United Nations as March 21st. Because of 1960, in Sharpeville, South Africa, there were um, some peaceful uh, demonstrators against apartheid that were shot down by the police. I think 70 were killed and about 180 injured. So United Nations, since that day, has declared it as a day to eliminate racism. The club is very multicultural from I've been here. This is like walking into United Nations every day for, for work. And the good news is that everybody gets along. Uh, our population has a high number of Bosnians, but we also have lots of South Americans, uh, Asians, South Americans, I said Spanish, you know, and Colombian around there. Uh, it's just diverse. A lot of people from Africa, we always have new immigrants coming in who will become new Canadians and that is, it's great to have them here. Part of my opening remarks today will be to just say a few things about um, unlearning racism. I mean a lot of people can talk about racism but what about unlearning it? Because we all have our prejudices and we all need to work on it to make this a better world. And I'd rather have the person say to me, Glenn, I'm working on my own instead of, I'm not racist. There's no such thing. We all have our prejudices. I want to say, number one point about unlearning racism, it's not a genetic disease. You will not be born with it. Nobody's ever born a racist. And since it's learned, it can be unlearned. The next thing I want to point out is that people will change their attitudes and their ways under certain circumstances. Number one is they trust the person giving them information. Number two, the information makes sense to them. And number three, they're not being blamed for having had those racist thoughts before. We try to make the entertainment reflect the cultural populations. We're part of the Qingwe Athletic Association. We do traditional Chinese lion dance and kung fu. We're going to be doing some Spanish dances from the various regions of Spain. They're folk dances that have been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. My name is uh, Melvin Stark and I'm doing uh, Aboriginal hoop dance. Time to unite 
I think events like this are really, really important, especially when you're living in as diverse a community as is it's here in the Victor Major area. Um, it's something that we've done for years and years and years, and it's certainly something that uh, we enjoy doing every year. And it just sort of highlights the, the richness of the, the diversity of the, the community and the richness of our population. It's fun and because it helps out with kids because they have a lot of fun and they see what people like to do and they eventually start doing it when they're older. I think it's very important to, um, to showcase the, the multiculturalism of Manitoba and Canada and the Spanish people have been here for quite a number of years and uh, the Spanish dance group has been together for about 30 years, over 30 years. And um, it's going strong, and I think it's great uh, that people preserve their culture. Events like this are really important for the community. I mean, you can never have too much education on uh, on, on racism and try to get rid of it. I think it's great. I think it's totally important for give kids somewhere to go, you know, something for them to do, and keep them out of trouble. That's. I think it's terrific. Communities need to put up a show for kids and families to. Um, come together and to celebrate something at a neighborhood, something and for whatever function that is going to have around the neighborhood, um, everyone have to be part of it because that is our life and that's all we live for. I really hope that people get to appreciate other cultures um, and we hope that the kids learn about other cultures and see the values of other cultures. Um, it helps people celebrate their differences as well as their similarities as well. Really getting to know each other and to learn how to to learn that you're able to like sing in front of other people and do things in front of people and just as a fun thing so that people are getting out and eating together and laughing and having fun. I think what people get out of this event is a, a spirit of community, a spirit that we belong together, um, that we can share our time and our efforts and that they will also know that we are we're here. I think a lot of people are coming to know that about Boys and Girls Club now and this event will also help to just get our name out there broader. I would say it is it pretty much is it's also educating um, kids about um, community and um, how to understand each other also how to be united and to live as together as one people and treat everyone the same and respect everyone. Diversity leads to stability and succession, just as in nature.